chapter 3 verse 5 and it's one of my favorite verses this verse what it talks about is trusting in God and today I want to encourage you to trust in God it says trust in the Lord with all thine heart lean not upon thy own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct you my paths and the word for today is trust Trust means to have confidence, to believe, to trust. And what that means is that we have confidence in God. The God that's created heavens and earth, if He could do all that, they could help us out with our daily lives and problems. We need to go to Him and pray to Him and trust that He will do what He said He'll do. That He'll give us guidance, that He'll give us wisdom, that He'll give us directions, that He'll open doors that we can't open, that He'll deal with situations that we can't. That's why we need to go to Him in prayer. And talk to him, ask forgiveness. We need to read our Bible and align our lives to his way. You know, sometimes we don't understand why it's important. And just follow God and trust in him. We may not understand all the circumstances we're in, but we still need to pray, follow, and trust in God and let God work it out in our lives. And those that have been Christians long enough know that as we follow God and operate in his own way, let his spirit move in us. God will deal with the situations. First, usually He makes a change in us. And then later, He makes a change around our environment. And then, we see the breakthrough go to the cup. So we need to trust in God. We need to trust in Him. Also, I want to encourage those that are having problems, maybe with children, or, or especially right now in this time that we're going through. Or your parent deal with maybe step parents or foster uh, parents of foster kids that you might be fostering, or or maybe your single mom dealing with the the the, the other parent or a single dad doing vice versa. Whatever the case may be, trust in God and also have patience and let God work with you, work with them, and pray about situation and let God work those things out with you. And of course, follow God's will and God's way. It says the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, and kindness, and gentleness, and self-control, and against such things where there is no law. Make sure those principles are applied in your life so that God can work in you and work to help you deal with the situation. And also work with you dealing with people. And also it allows you to, him to make the changes in you and the other people. Also, if you're overwhelmed, go talk to a friend, a Christian friend, or your pastor, or your deacon, or somebody that's a Christian that's what you're in to help you out with what you're going through. Go and talk to them and trust that God will help you through these times and process. So you need to go to the daily in prayer. You need to bring this word, put in action, and also use those principles as you're working with your children and your family. And you have a great day. Hey, I hope you really got something out of this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and also subscribe button. And also share this with all your friends on your Facebook so they can be a part of this too. And also, if you have friends through the YouTube that you want to share it with, share it to them. Send them a text to encourage them. Also, don't forget to uh, follow. Click follow if you're on Facebook or on Instagram. And you guys have a great day.